So I'm out in the woods anyway, doing some stuff. Just done the seven questions video, if you haven't seen it, link below. And I just want to get some stuff out to show you. So I'll do a few little short vids now, ultra short vids on uh, gear. Um, got my oiled canvas uh, bags. They go really well with this kind of gear, so I can chuck them anywhere they're fine. So I love these bags, I'm using them a lot. So I'll show you this first of all. Um, I've been looking into and testing out a little bit um, Instagram. I'm not, I wasn't really an Instagram person. Um, there's a couple of things about it annoy me. You can't put links in comments and stuff like that, but it is quick for getting pictures up online um, and getting a good audience. So unlike Facebook, you kind of got to know and sub to people to get content. Whereas on Instagram, it's all hashtags. So if you're interested in knives, then it knows you're interested in knives by what you're looking at. And if it's got a hashtag knife, it'll throw up new knife stuff. So it's more of a discovery mechanism. So you find new stuff easy rather than only looking at the stuff you know. So um, yeah, I'm giving out Instagram a go. Just find Tack Blades on Instagram and you'll see all my stuff. Um, you can follow me if you want. Um, but there's a lot more on there than just DIY and what you see on the videos. There's all sorts of stuff on there from the beer I'm drinking to... Um, tiny little things that I'm buying or experience that I've had. I've got a whole load of stuff on um, beeswax. So I'm making beeswax waterproofing paste, beeswax healing creams, uh, beeswax hair gel for my kids, um, all sorts of stuff um, for outdoors and indoor stuff. So yeah, I'm all over that at the moment. So you don't see that on YouTube, but um, you'll see it on Instagram. So go and check it out. So this is something I bought recently. This is called New Myth, N U M Y T H, New Myth. It's uh, to do with fire starting. Now, I've been hunting around for the best lighter. All the ones I've had have been pretty rubbish. Bic gas lighters don't work below zero. You've got to warm them up, keep them in your pocket. Can't bother with that. I just want it to work when I want it to work. Um, Zippo lighters, which I really love because they've got character evaporate super fast i put a ranger band on one and it lasted for a month which wasn't too bad but you got to flick the rubber band down to open it and all that defeats the object didn't like that uh, i bought an imco lighter a lot of people rave about imco lighters that evaporates faster than a zippo didn't like that don't like matches i like fire steels that's my backup um, we'll talk about that in another vid coming up um, but this is what I found online and this is my perfect lighter, it fits the bill, a small light, reliable in all temperatures, uh, especially sub-zero, which I, I'm out in a lot, um, and it, it just works. So you probably know, you've got spare o-rings and stuff in there, and you get it. so you probably know the peanut lighter, which is a very tiny metal capsule, o-ring sealed with fluid uh, lighter in there so that works all temperatures but it's so small there's not really a big enough reservoir to hold all the fuel so this is what I've got now this is called a tow hill Numa tow hill um, and this is a, um, a really nice little lighter it's solid aluminium so it's fairly light it's about 40 grams um, I just put a lanyard on it talk about lanyards another time and uh, you unscrew it and it's got an o-ring seal which you keep um, oiled with vaseline or something and then it's got threads but the threads are square cut threads um, which means a it starts and stops really easy and it's got a lot of grip it doesn't undo on its own because of the square threads so i really like that it's got chamfering on the barrel so it's easy to hold in cold weather it's big enough for like if you've got gloves and stuff on your hands and then inside it's got a little container just like a zippo with put your fuel in so it doesn't fall out or anything um, and if you look it's got a little divot underneath and that fits in a little groove inside so it's all been designed well so it doesn't fall out um, yeah and then you just uh, use a little thing and it's it's a stand up one yeah so it's got a flat bottom so you can stand it up with the light on if you're trying to do stuff over the flame stuff like that um, and uh, I just love it just perfect for me it lasts months and months and months um, with no evaporation because of the seal um, it's super rugged it's never going to dent break or anything like that they look nice good design i like them a lot so the tow hill 
new new myth lighter is definitely one for me um, i think i've found the perfect lighter now so i'll just keep this now um, and that'll be on me all the time with a backup car still so uh, yeah so if you like it i'll put all the links below price down below you can have a look cheers bye